This individual is named James Jameson. He is a very sorry man who has resorted to a life of burglary. After hearing about the zombie apocalypse from the TV, James Jameson decided to go to the kitchen, stock up on food, and possibly find a weapon. After completely raiding his house, he decided to set the house on fire for an unknown reason. And so, he stepped outside in what seemed like years. He immediately encountered the local youth and prompted to beat them up. However, while he was beating up the zombies, unbeknownst to him, the fire was spreading. And so, he got into his car. Luckily, he left his key in the glove box, and then he proceeded to take off. He proceeded to drive around a bit, taking a wrong turn every so often, but then, um, his engine died. And so, he bravely ran away from the oncoming horde of zombies. He retreated into a house which had an unlocked window. He then took everything from the kitchen and ran outside. And proceeded to run from a large amount of zombies, but thankfully running from the police had trained him for this. Afterwards, he burst into another house and, you know what, just watch this. He had successfully self-defended himself in the house, but at what cost? I am terribly sorry for the low quality, but he was only scratched twice. He is definitely okay. After he went ahead and did a few things in the house, like fill up some water containers, he was attacked by quite the amount of zombies. Quickly, he searched the closet and found a school bag. A very vital tool, I guess, does it count as a tool? And he had to run away from the horde of zombies, because he doesn't have any good weapons right now. He then spent the next two in-game hours walking down the street and transferring items from his inventory to his backpack. And then he found a house that he thought to claim. One of the zombies he killed was a police officer, so we gladly took the bulletproof vests and any other protective clothing he could find from him. While raiding the house, he encountered a room with a bunk bed in it. Inside of the drawer beside the bunk bed, however, there were two gun cases. Hopefully no children were living in there. He planned to use the guns for later use or maybe a uh, last resort. Although Reddit told him both to do it and to not do it at all. He then decided to make some meat stew? Why? Okay, well, apparently he was very confident in his cooking ability and made some stew for himself. The next four in-game hours were spent running away from all of the zombies. Well, at least until he could find a safe place to survive and maybe sleep. Which he did. James Jameson checked on his wounds from earlier and found that they were completely healed. James Jameson spent even more time running from the zombies again. He had the chance to go out into the wilderness and maybe survive out there, but he knew there was no use. James Jameson was infected with the zombie virus. It would take him within a couple of days or maybe even hours. So he decided to take as many zombies down with him as possible. The warehouse he was resting at seemed very barren. Although, when he went to check a locker in the corner, he found a very good weapon. A pickaxe. He then exited the warehouse and went looking for the perfect house to burn down him and the zombies. He managed to secure one and got everything ready.
He took a nap, took some sleeping tablets straight afterwards, and then he put a pot of stew in the oven and left the oven on while going to sleep on the sofa. You can probably guess what he woke up to. Of course, I'll take this one misstep, and you're done. And so, the tale of James Jameson ends. He died the way he wanted to, not by the hands of a zombie, but of fire.